And then in this main main pouch right here, quite a lot of stuff. Simple Mora knife, first aid. Look how big this first aid kit is. Well, hi friends, I'm Brian Cosby, this is Provide and Protect, and today we're taking a look at this Vertex Navigator bag. This is a great go bag, a great EDC bag, and if you need a little bag like this to take with you, throw in your vehicle, something like that that can contain a lot of very helpful, life-saving equipment, this might be the way to go. If you've not already done so, please consider hitting that like button and also subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate you and your support. With that, let's jump right in. So if you find yourself in a situation where you are needing to take care of a threat, uh, if you are needing to leave your vehicle somewhere and go, uh, let's say there's a cut, uh, someone's cut themselves and you need first aid, uh, if you need to make a quick fire, if you need, I mean, all kinds of scenarios that you could find yourself in. And a lot of people do not have anything in their vehicle uh, to use. And this does not have to be just a vehicle bag, but this is how I use it. And I think it's super helpful uh, to have with me. I know that there's uh, things like a knife and first aid and rope and other things that are in here, even a, even a weapon, a handgun that's in here. Uh, that I can just grab this and, and go take care of a situation. And I want to show you this uh, today and why I think it's important for you to have something like this. And there's reasons why I picked this particular bag uh, over some other ones. And we'll get into that in just a second. So I'll start with this outside uh, pouch right here. Again, this is a, a nylon, uh, ripstop nylon uh, material. And I love these tabs uh, all over this, easy to access. In this outside panel you've got this really soft uh, material for attaching kind of velcro hook and loop accessories to it uh, super easy there's all kinds you can find on the internet uh, out there um, like uh, something to put your, your gun into sorry it's windy out here um, but in this outside pouch i've just got some basic stuff that you might need um, just for everyday purposes uh, let's see flashlight if you need to purify some water, some water tablets, uh, a bandana, a handkerchief, some lip balm, hair cord, bracelet, stuff like that, that's just kind of accessories that you want to access. Uh, you can probably maybe use more often than others. And then in this main main pouch right here, quite a lot of stuff. Uh, got, got a simple Mora knife. Can't have uh, too many of those. Uh, first aid. Look how big this first aid kit is. A pretty big first aid kit. Has pretty much all that I need uh, for doing quick uh, dressing wounds or things like that. Um, but just a great little first aid kit. Uh, some binoculars, some small binoculars, gloves, right in the rain, notebook. Um, what is this? I think this is fire starting. If you want to start a fire, yes, yeah, got all kinds of fire starting. Got some flint steel. I even have some uh, some dryer lint, uh, just as a fire starter. Again, just all kinds of fire starter stuff in there. Survival tabs if you uh, need some some uh, protein things just to hold you over for a little bit. These little survival tabs uh, that you can use and nutrition. Uh, it's good to have on hand. Um, oh yeah, we got a radio in here. So, and I got an antenna somewhere. Yeah, just one of these uh, little radios, uh, two-way radios, so we can access, communicate, access information, or maybe emergency information. Compass, you need to know how to use this stuff, obviously. Uh, a multi-tool, spare batteries, and I'll, again, I'll try to leave some links down below for stuff that's in here flat another flashlight secondary flashlight there's a little pouch right here too uh, that i've got emergency blanket poncho signaling mirror so nice little pouch inside but you know it's not a big bag but i mean that's quite a bit of stuff that you can you can fit you got another kind of inside pouch right here and this is uh, one of those kind of Faraday pouches, so if you don't want to be tracked for some reason, you can throw your phone in that, and uh, it turns off all kind of tracking uh, for your phone if you just do not want to be tracked uh, for some reason. Um, and again, on this back side, you have this big, this big pull tab right here. 
this will make more sense when I show you the, you know, what it looks like uh, on uh, later too. But, uh, but got a Glock here. Again, you can put a couple mags. You can kind of store all kinds of uh, accessories. Anything this this hook and loop Velcro accessory you can put uh, in here. These are some intact uh, accessories here. Uh, but I also like this little this little clip here. You can put this clip uh, in this this loop and close that up so that if you are quickly accessing this, it doesn't just flop all the way open. It kind of holds right there. So if you just don't want it to go all the way open, uh, that, that holds it. So uh, anyway, fantastic, fantastic little bag. It's very comfortable. Uh, and uh, putting this on is very easy. And we'll look at that right now. So you can kind of see what it looks like here. You got your waist strap here. And the nice thing about a, a design like this is that you can quickly go, I'm not gonna hit my camera, but you can quickly go around and grab what you need. See a backpack, you gotta take off and uh, kind of search through it. But here you can have it in one fast swoop. Again, turn to my microphone here. Uh, you can just quickly, if you didn't have a microphone, go quickly back and forth and grab what you need. And so if I'm, and I can run with this. Um, and if I need to just quickly, let's say, access uh, my weapon, I can do this, pull it around, open this tab, and then grab and go. So uh, I think it's a great design. Uh, it's really high quality uh, materials. And they just thought uh, a lot about this bag and the uses for it. There's all kinds of places you could put this in your vehicle, you know, behind the seat somewhere else. But for me, for my purposes, uh, at least in this uh, SUV here, then I just put it in this little cubby hole and that's perfect. You can grab that and go if I need it. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. If you've not already done so, please consider hitting that like button and subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate all your support. And with that, we'll see you on the next video.